I'm just going to look at this monitor, and I don't have a pointer. So uh, let me just try to describe it to you as we go off. Uh, it's, a, it's a story of our flight, 14 minutes long. It actually lasted 11 days. We launched from the Kennedy Space Center uh, in Florida. Uh, the Saturn rocket, the engines, they took eight seconds to build up the power, and then they let go, uh, and uh, the vehicle started to move very, very slowly. Uh, uh, we had three and, three and a half million pounds, uh, no, three and a half million kilos of thrust pushing three million. So it just lifted off very slowly. What you see falling off there, the white objects were ice. The fuel is very cold, and so the atmosphere had frozen, and we had, out of the vehicle, we had about two tons of ice, they estimate. But within a few seconds, the vibration had sh shaken it all off. Uh, if you see the very top of the vehicle, that's the command module, that's where we were uh, strapped in. Uh, the center black line uh, is the first stage, and on our mission, the first stage lasted for 2 minutes and 41 seconds. It took us to an altitude of about uh, 8,000, I know, uh, about 50 kilometers, uh, and uh, it uh, uh, accelerated us to about 8,000 uh, 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 kilometers per uh, hour, uh, and then we, as we burned out the fuel, we accelerated, of course, so that we went from 1G on the launch pad to 4.5 Gs. And that's pushing you back in your seat uh, at 4.5 times gravity. So if you multiply your weight by 4.5, that's what you feel like uh, as this vehicle stages. They shut the engines down and you went from 4.5 to 0 like that. And uh, it was a real... Uh, thrust forward, as you can imagine. Uh, the first stage drops off, uh, and uh, the second stage ignites. And from Earth, uh, we had a long-range camera that took the picture, and there's the big explosion as the first stage falls away. And now here's the uh, interstage falling off, uh, and you can see the blue of the Atlantic, and the Florida, sort of that uh, light brown uh, in the background at the edge of the earth. And here's the uh, picture of the earth I was describing. California is at the bottom. Uh, Baja, California. You can see the Rocky Mountains uh, in, uh, in the brown. Uh, and then the great southwest uh, plains of uh, the U.S. Uh, Mexico is off to the right. Uh, the Arctic Circle is off to the left. A big a circle is a storm system out over the Bering Strait. Uh, here is uh, the inside of our spacecraft. As I said, it was very small. Uh, no privacy in this spacecraft. The three of us were there for the three days. Uh, TK Mattingly is exercising. There I am just throwing some stuff around. One of the problems with zero gravity is you could never get anything steady. And if you didn't Velcro it, if you needed it, and you didn't Velcro it to the side of the spacecraft, it floated off somewhere and it was lost. Uh, these are checklists. That's a flashlight. Uh, you can see we're trying to get it steady and it's impossible. Most of our feed, food came in plastic bags uh, like this one. Uh, this is space shuttle, not us, uh, but I wanted to show you what liquid looks like in space. Uh, grape juice. Uh, takes the shape of a sphere uh, due to the uh, surface tensions, uh, molecular tensions, and in it goes. This is a banana. Uh, <laughs> a fine banana trick. Uh, we didn't have any bananas in Apollo. Uh, we, as I said, we were dehydrated. The only thing that wasn't dehydrated we had was uh, 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 peanut butter and jelly and some bread. Uh, and here we are now on the fifth day of the mission. Uh, we're in the lunar module, and in a moment you'll see a white circle appear. Uh, right above that is a, we call it the hatch, the Ford hatch. It's about a meter in diameter, and you open that hatch, and you get on your hands and knees and crawl out backwards onto that porch, down that ladder, onto the foot pad. To give you a sense of scale, from the foot pad to the door uh, was five meters, and the vehicle, the lunar module, weighed about 19,000 kilos uh, at this point. Uh, we're orbiting the moon at an altitude of 
kilomet uh, kilometers. Uh, and uh, this spacecraft stays in orbit. There's the Earth. Uh, you see beyond the moon surface uh, and the other little spacecraft out there. Uh, now we're down to about 2,000 meters uh, above landing. We recognize these two large craters uh, which were in our landing site. We begin to maneuver uh, for a landing, and at about uh, uh, 30, uh, no, about 20 meters, we start blowing out the moon dust. We level off uh, slightly at about six meters. We start down slowly, uh, and uh, when we touch the moon, we stop the engine, and the dust clears instantly. There are no dust storms on the moon because there's no atmosphere up there. Notice how dark it is in the shadow, but how bright it is in the sunlight. When we got outside, we had actually two sun visors down, and it was still <coughs> brilliantly bright on the lunar surface. John Young was the first out uh, and on our mission, and I came out about five minutes later, and looking out to the northwest, or the west, uh, this was a hill that we eventually climbed in our car. Uh, we didn't have any digital cameras back then. That's a film magazine I have in my hand. It's got dust on it, and I'm trying to blow the dust off through my visor. You can imagine that didn't work very well. I felt like an idiot. Uh, and I said, I didn't tell anybody what I was doing because I felt so foolish. But anyway, I got the film on the camera, uh, and uh, uh, we took 2,000 pictures uh, during our three days on the moon. Uh, here I am on the right uh, there and beyond the flag. We put the flag up uh, with a, uh, a, an aluminum rod holding it out so uh, there's no wind. So to hold it out, we wanted to put a rod. So John comes out and gives a big salute uh, and uh, gives a little jump for joy. Uh, and uh, both of us, I weighed 164 kilos uh, uh, down here with all of my equipment on up on the moon 24, divide by six. Uh, I'm the guy going off to the right there, and uh, my most embarrassing moment is uh, about to appear to you. Uh, I'm uh, jogging out with $10 million of moon experiments on the right side there, that big dumbbell, and they fall off. <laughs> I was determined to get this rock. Yeah, I can't tell you why now, 40 years later. 
later, but I'm going to get that rock and put it in a bag. So I, I flip it up real softly this time, and I catch it, but I drop the bag I was putting on. <laughs> Everything didn't go well in, uh, on the follow, uh, but uh, we were successful. Uh, we had a little things like this that was very uh, annoying that happened to us. Uh, the biggest rock we saw up on the moon was about the size of this room, uh, and uh, it was about uh, five kilometers above, away from us, and I was on my last stop. We left our car up on the moon. Uh, now, this is scary. I'm the guy on the left, and I'm setting a high jump record on the moon Olympics. And there I go up, but I go over back. <laughs> Thank you. 